So hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Another amazing day here in Canada. It just doesn't seem to rain. Um, we've had nothing but beautiful weather, a bit of snow here and there. It melts, blue sky, absolutely lovely. Um, so I'm at a different location today where I haven't been for ages actually. It's where I was here for the belted kingfishers and um, some of the red-tailed hawks etc. But I haven't been here for ages and I'm checking in on a pair of uh, Cooper's hawks which bred here last year successfully. I think they raised a, a few young and I've seen them here before, but apparently they're actively titivating the nest, doing a lot of territorial stuff and keeping quite close by. And I know where the nest site is. These aren't protected birds, but I've still got to be mindful of the sensitivity of the birds as well. So we're going to go in there, have a look round. Um, there's a path running quite adjacent to where they're breeding. So they're used to human activity. So I'm hoping to get in there and um, just set up, relax, don't get any kit out for the start, just to see if they accept me, if they're around. They might not even be here, so I really, um, it's a bit of a stab in the dark, but uh, just gonna get into this woodland now. They're actually in here, so um, hoping to, uh, you know, get lucky with them today and have a, just sit, relax, chill out, beautiful day. Got like five hours here, so uh, there's no guarantees in wildlife photography and I'm hoping to see them. Will I get to photograph them, video them? Who knows, but uh, in we go. So guys, I've just um, found the nest. Very easy to see this time of the year because there's no leaves on the trees. So it's very easy to spot. Um, the birds themselves, the female is rather drab, I suppose, in comparison to the, to the male. Full adult males are absolutely beautiful. Not unlike our sparrowhawk back home, the Eurasian sparrowhawk, um, but magnificent birds. And I've never really seen a proper adult male, but uh, just come to look at the nest. It's looking pretty good intact. Do a couple images above um, a bit of video just taking my little look at it it's all quiet at the moment just wanted to come in and have a quick look round see if I could pick up any sign the birds don't look like they're here at the minute so I'm gonna go set myself up just chill out have a brew and uh, yeah see what happens I see something now we've just had off this week started to hear our first red winged blackbirds beautiful blackbirds with red on the wing funny old thing and they've started now to sing, giving that sort of spring feel, and it really does feel like spring. Um, beautiful, but I'm gonna get myself away from the nest, park myself up in a nice prominent position, and hopefully we'll get to see something. So guys, I've now got myself into a, a, a fairly decent position, but it's rather cluttered in here. So as you can see, um, there's a lot of tree cover here so it's really really difficult to actually um, get a clear shot to the area of the nest I'm looking for any perches that the um, the Cooper's hawks are going to come and land on um, I can hear woodpeckers around me I can hear a kingfisher down in the uh, river there and there's one um, I think it's a downy woodpecker just behind me there on one of the trees but uh, yeah it's going to be one of those guys today I think it's going to be several visits um, I'm, I'm sort of unlikely to get lucky today on the first hit but um, this is some, something to work on a bit of a project and today it's a bit of a recce got all the kit with me just in case and hopefully we'll just get to see the birds really um, yeah a bit of a stab in the dark but we'll see So guys all set up now and uh, I've got the camera trained on the nest at the moment. It's all very very quiet in here. Um, it really is one of those needle in a haystack things. Um, they could be out hunting, feeding at the moment. Um, but hopefully throughout the day we might get to see them come back and just work out really um, how they feel about me being here. Um, there's a path literally kind of 20 foot from where I am with dogs and people transiting up and down, although it's been really quiet so far. So the birds are obviously used to people transiting through. What they're not used to is people stopping 
bringing out a large tripod and a big lens. So, you know, if I'm becoming a an issue here and they start calling alarm calling or they're looking uncomfortable, then I'll back off and just go away. Uh, maybe from a further distance, chuck the telly on and maybe um, try it that way. But it's one of those things that in cities and places like this, which is rather busy, they, they are quite habituated, so they will be a little bit more tolerant of human activity. Whereas at home, no chance. Um, literally getting places under cover of darkness um, being quiet as possible and um, without that you've got no chance but here I found since I've been here for seven months birds of prey are a lot more tolerant of humans uh, and they will accept you um, provided you're not obviously um, right up there to the nest site and um, obviously causing them any problems but um, we'll see how they are we'll work it out read the signs of the birds kind of gauge their behavior it's a, a Cooper's hawk it's very, you know, very like a sparrowhawk at home. Um, so we'll see how they react to me, and hopefully they'll um, they'll accept me. I've got a friend who knows that they're here. He um, put me onto this place when I first moved here. He knows what they're like. Uh, he studied them extensively through the seasons. He said they are quite accepting um, as long as you sit, stay quiet, and um, obviously don't uh, um, get too close. Basically, so uh, we'll see how we go. birds have just come in um, and they are probably about 25 to 30 feet away from me. Um, they were out on the branch, females a little bit obscured, the male came out, I probably had at least kind of a minute, minute and a half with it on the branch, managed to get some, some nice shots in the bag. Fantastic birds. The, the eye on the male is so red, burgundy, deep red. I've never seen one like that on a Cooper's hawks. I haven't really seen a full adult male, but he is absolutely stunning and in tip top condition. The female also is looking really, really good. Slightly browner with a bit of coloration there. Um, I've got a few shots of her as well, but they're not particularly great because they're quite elevated. So, um, but it's been fantastic to see him. I mean, that's great. Literally, I heard this weird call to my left, and they were both literally there 25, 30 feet in an old dead tree and I was like my god and they know I'm here they're not bothered about me at all I stayed really really quiet um, not wanting to make any sounds to flush them off um, so yeah I'm just hoping we get a bit more time with them throughout the rest of the day
So guys, they've gone a bit quiet now. I think they've just laid up. Um, it's that sort of time of the day really when they're just chilling out, probably digesting some food from this morning. Um, so they're actually currently nestled in a yew tree at the moment and quite heavily obscured from me um, because there's no leaf on the trees. They just want a bit of cover protection really. <clears throat> there's been a few red-tailed hawks overhead but there's been a lot of spring-like bird song today, so uh, lovely that that's actually now starting to kick in. But um, oh, it's fantastic to see these guys. Um, I've got a few more hours left, and um, maybe, maybe I'll get lucky, and they might come out again and have a little fly around. Um, but if not, you know, I'm absolutely over the moon today, really, you know, just to see those birds close quarters like that firsthand, and the first time I've seen that full adult male with that beautiful red eye, it's just made it for me really. I've got some half decent images I think in the bag. Again, shooting slightly elevated, but you know guys, this isn't a baited hide. This is a woodland um, and it's a bit of a needle in a haystack, but you know, perseverance. I've done quite a lot of recce work here and um, yeah, it just pays off. And also a good friend as well has been giving me some of his um, knowledge as well from this area because he's been watching these guys for a few years now. So that's been absolutely key. So thanks very much to him. You know who you are. Um, so, uh, yeah, but a uh, couple of hours to go. Hopefully, maybe we'll get uh, charmed with a few more views of these amazing birds. So, guys, we've currently got the uh, female coopers um, sitting in a shaded part of the tree there. Really difficult to photograph. Got tons and tons of branches in the way. Managed to get a couple of shots through a crack in a tree. Um, really not easy, probably a little bit soft. The light is quite coming right in. It's casting quite a big sort of silhouette, but uh, I'm doing my best, but it's beautiful to see her. She's sitting there, surprisingly long tail actually as well, but really big bird actually, a lot bigger than our female sparrow hawk, I think. Gonna have to look in the books when I get back. Yeah, but absolutely phenomenal. She is beautiful, really, really good, right ready for breeding condition. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. <laughs> So guys, just had the female um, basically in the yew tree there. She was just fumbling around like she was looking for insects, but she's actually looking for sticks. And uh, she managed to grab a few sticks and then she flew really, really low, real fast and straight up into the nest. Um, I managed to get um, a bit of video of her on the nest there. Um, just titivating the nest. So obviously still in the early stages at the moment of, um, of getting that nest ready to breed. But fantastic it's nice i could just got a little bit of a gap through the trees here just looking at the nest site um not bothered by me at all um generally obviously raptor species as well around the nest be a bit more territorial a bit more vocal she is not bothered there's houses up behind me here which you can't see in the video because i don't really want to spoil it uh and there's a, a lad that lives in the house just up behind here who walks down through this path all the time right underneath the nest so i don't think the birds are that bothered um but fantastic to see her doing a bit of behavior there. Um, superb. I mean, she's being really, really just fussing around, making a few little noises while she's looking for, for sticks and twigs. But, oh, fantastic. Just watching uh, the Cooper's Hawk female go about the business of getting that nest sorted. So I, I reckon obviously that like most bird species, um, a lot of the males do make it the nest and obviously females do as well, but whether or not they do that together, I don't know, but something I'm gonna look into. But uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So hopefully she comes back to the nest, got a bit of ultra slow motion, so maybe get her as she's coming back in.
So guys, that concludes today's day out. It's been absolutely fantastic. Um, weather's been beautiful. I mean, really, really has. It's such a lovely day, really nice and warm. A little chilly breeze, just to remind you, it's not quite spring, um, but birds have been displaying, red-tailed hawks we've had, red-winged blackbirds have arrived. Um, there's been chickadees singing, there's been cardinals singing, lots of squirrel activity, and the ice on the cake was definitely those Cooper's Hawks. Absolutely fantastic. I'm, I mean, you know, I've been doing my field craft and my work here. Haven't been down here with my camera, but obviously I do walk and stuff and check this area out. And, you know, I know they are here. I know some of their habits. I've also got a good friend, as I said before, who's scouted this area out religiously for years now. So he's been giving me a few pointers as well. So that's all really helped. But I didn't expect here, you know, to come here today and to get close quarters um, views of those um, Cooper's Hawks, both male and female. Absolutely fantastic. Now I know every time I bring a vlog out, I seem to find some species. Um, it is just, you know, it's not always like that. You know, there's lots and lots of failed attempts. I do lots and lots of vlogs where I delete all the footage because I really haven't got much to show. So it's just swings and roundabouts, but obviously today being a particularly successful day, it's been, you know, absolutely awesome. I can't get over how gorgeous those birds are, the male, its coloration, it's really, really red eye, um, significantly smaller than the female. The female, she's quite a good size with a nice little sort of like salmon -y front on her as well, but um, really good body size. Um, but yeah, I just can't get over the, um, the, the close quarters views I had. I mean, it was absolutely fantastic, but yeah, absolutely buzzing really. It's been superb. I hope when I get back, those images look as sharp as they do um, on the back of the camera. But uh, as always guys, thanks very much indeed for watching. I know I do harp on quite a lot about the old um, like and leave a comment. Be great if you could, you know, in that corner bit there, just hit that subscribe button guys. If you don't subscribe to the channel, if you want to see more, it'd be great to have you come on board. But uh, from me in a beautiful woodland in nearly spring in Canada. I'll see you all next time. Superb guys. Um, as always though, well, female um, hawk just came flying in then. Thank you.